Oh, I bet you bloody well, yeah. Oh, I see Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> so, ah, fire. Re recover. <laughs> Come on, Jim. Muskets are horribly inaccurate. After about 150 yards, you're probably not going to hit anything if you aim at it. However, if you can throw more legs. Two, one, two. So, this is now the manual of arms. Every soldier would be expected to learn this and know it off by heart. Half cock your pieces, open your pans, handle your cartridge. So, a cartridge is a tube of paper with gunpowder and a lead ball. Prime. A small amount of powder is then poured into a pan on the side of the musket. Close your pans. This is then secured by the prison. So basically, if you can see on my musket here, this L-shaped piece of metal there, that's the prison. Task about charge. Load. The rest of the powder, and if we were using lead ball, lead ball would then be poured down the barrel. Handle your rammers. Withdraw your rammers. Short your rammers. Put it to the barrel. Ram down your charge, recover your rammers, shorten your rammers, put it to the pipes, replace. They have to make sure the charges are rammed tight. Gunpowder will explode even if you just tap load the gun by which I mean pouring the powder down and giving the barrel a slight tap. But you want to make sure that powder is compressed enough to give it enough bang to send the ball on its way. Cast off, recover your arms. By the right about face. Make ready. Present. Fire. <laughs> By the right about face. Now, as you can see, it produces a lot of smoke, and uh, some of the muskets, as uh, one of the private hits, they don't always. There we have 17 inches of fluted steel attached to the end of the musket, transforming the musketeer into effectively a pikeman. Company, recover your arms. Two. One, two, one, two. Charge your bayonets, breast high. Push your bayonets. Huzzah! Push your bayonets. Huzzah! Push your bayonets. Huzzah! So as you can imagine, after facing volleys of musket balls coming towards you, you're then hitting the red coat.